Hi, and welcome to Painting Nova, a video series that follows the progress of my painting Nova from start to finish. Part three focuses on the first pass, which is the first layer of mixed colors that are applied to the canvas. You can see on the video on the left side, I have the progress of the painting uh, with the camera on my canvas. I've got my palette in the top right corner and in the bottom right corner is the painting as I've started it at the beginning of the video. So it shows what I'm working with right now. And then we'll see uh, now how it will look at the end of the video. So as I'm preparing to paint the hand and part of the torso, uh, I won't actually be painting the hand this time, but I'm laying the groundwork for it. I'm adding the dark shadows of the creases first, both in the stomach torso area and under the hand, so that when I paint the torso, it will move into the creases and really give a sense of volume and form. Now, if you watched the first video in the first pass, uh, part here, so painting the background and the legs. I did the same kind of thing for the knee and Here I'm just being a little bit more careful because the crease is a bit more complex and longer um, So I want to make sure to get that area to be as expressive as possible Earlier on I started by painting the creases in the stomach and where the hand is on the hip and gradually worked up from there so I'm almost imagining this part of the stomach as having its own topography, I mean, which it does really, um, but painting the lower parts first, you know, painting the parts that are closer to the body first and saving those, those higher up portions, those portions that have more volume and more form for last. This means the parts of the figure that are closest to you and I as the viewer have been painted last and are sort of sculpted almost um, out of the canvas. So those are the last pieces of paint and it does help to give an impression of the form turning. So again, how you apply the paint matters and is an integral part of the process, of the painting process. You can really see here that I've left these these topmost parts of this section for last. I also try to think about the quantity of paint too, and generally keep the shadow areas or the areas that are receding a little bit thinner in terms of paint. Um, I'm, I'm not saying that I mix any paint thinner into it, you know, any solvent or any oil. I'm just using less paint in those uh, those shadows and those areas that are falling away. And then in the more voluminous areas, I tend to use more paint. 